Okay, so hello and welcome back to another banknote video. So, sorry, not sorry about the coins in the background. Uh, it's just the way I like to keep things. So, Missy, if you're curious about what this one is, Mombasa coin. That is, should be one, uh, two pesa. And we've got various rupees. And, ooh, Australian frequency. So, today we're talking about this banknote in front of us. And this is a banknote I did use, and they were in circulation up until uh, 19, what else, 1994. And I remember I used to get these ones as well as the old polymer banknotes together. Um, probably 95, 96. It took a while for these banknotes to actually disappear. Okay, so this one is a Fraser Cole. So. It was issued starting in 1991 and it was last issued in 93 when they issued a different banknote. So I do have two here. And this one seems that they have printing uh, from probably, yeah. So what that happens is when they actually put the banknotes on top of each other, sometimes they don't put anything in between them. And then you get the ink popping up here. But also, it also comes through because the paper is very thin. Okay, so these two banknotes are different quality. And you can see they do have a different... So this is a lighter print of the signatures. This has a darker. So that's pretty normal. Uh, it doesn't make any of these any more expensive. So this one will be almost uncirculated. It does have some damage. Looks like it only has one fold in it, or even just a minor fold. Uh, this one has multiple folds and it has creases, so this is probably very fine. And basically, you want to get banknotes that are in higher condition. Okay, so the first prefix for this one is the uh, RHG. So these ones are. Uh, beyond that, and the last one is ABQ. So it doesn't mean they went from R S T U V. It just means when they used up all the R prefixes, they just uh, started at A. So there's pretty much only two prefixes. And the triple A uh, is one I think they issued in the folder. So, but. The AAA doesn't seem to have more of a value than general prefix. Or maybe just a 50% more, depending on the grade. Okay, so as there is a general prefix, what would you be paying for this one? Uh, probably about $30 for this. Seems to be common. So if you get it lower than this grade, it's pretty much worth just face value. So these ones are not really sought after. So you'll be struggling to actually sell that for $30. Okay, all right. This one has Hargraves on it with uh, aircraft design. And this side has Charles King's at Smithfield as a pilot, obviously with a tie. And also with, uh, I think this is uh, wind instruments. Anyway, and the watermark is Captain Cook. So he was also on the pre-decimal banknotes, but he was not put on the polymer banknotes. Okay, so what would you get this one? This is EF. Well, it has a catalog value of uh, 48. So I'd say probably about 35 for this one. If you dispute those values, please write them below. Or you can go, if you're not too sure, you can go to eBay as well as our uh, online coin shops and you can uh, check up the values that these sell for but a lot of um, coin shops will not put these type of banknotes on their website uh, because the margins are pretty small you they probably just have a bulk lot of these I, I know that the purple penny uh, in one of your videos one time you come out with a whole box full of uh, these banknotes most of them were in pretty low grade. 
Uh, but he, I think he, he paid like one or two dollars over face value. Uh, and it's just for anyone to actually um, go through. But pretty much, uh, maybe just pay face value. And then when uh, someone comes in and buy stuff and uses um, currency, maybe this could be a way of actually getting people to actually use banknotes. Uh, instead of giving them just the current currency, maybe you can just pay them out in the old paper banknotes. Well, I don't know. It's just a thought. But basically, anything in pretty low grades only worth face value. So, I hope this helps you with uh, the 1991 $20 banknote. And just remember, just because it's got Commonwealth of Australia doesn't mean it's worth a billion dollars. Anyway, thank you very much. Have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. Thank you, Anne. Goodbye.